Uh, yes, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Life in the Kitchen. Uh, once again, it's a beautiful day. I uh, thank you to all my subscribers around Africa, Europe, and all the parts of the world, wherever you're watching us from. Thank you for the comments. Uh, so today I'm going to be taking you through a common meal. This meal is commonly prepared in Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya. So my Kenyan people watching. Uh, today I'm going to take you through how you can prepare this beautiful meal. Uh, what we're going to prepare today is we have goat's meat and of course we have posho plus skuma wiki. Skuma wiki. Uh, this this meal, like I told you, it's always and it's uh, normally prepared in Kenya. People of Kenya, hope you're watching this video and if you have a Kenyan friend, uh, don't let him miss out on this video. So share to them and tell them to come and subscribe to our youtube channel life in the kitchen so today uh we have this is what we're going to use this is all you need if you to prepare this kind of meal at home first you'll need a uh, green paper yes green paper you'll need a uh, goat's meat right here uh, you'll need skuma wiki right here you'll need tomatoes three of them and you'll need a carrot of course and then we have a very nice big onion and green pepper as well like i told you and then we have our posho right there so that is how we're going to be preparing that's all you need to prepare this beautiful meal at home so let's start uh yes uh like i told you now we're done chopping our vegetables or the ingredients you can see the onions, you can see the green pepper, you can see the carrots and the tomatoes. So finally, we're going to be heading on the next step of starting to prepare the meal. So if you, after making sure the meat is dry, as you can see, yes, now we're going to step uh, where we're going to be adding our cooking oil. You can use anything. You can use cheese. You can use, uh, you can use butter. You can use cooking oil. So you add um, two tablespoons of cooking oil. Start stirring. Stir the meat. Stir the meat. And stir and stir and stir for something like. Uh, two to three minutes so that our meat uh, can fill the cooking oil right now we're going to start uh, filling in the vegetables you're going to start with the with the onions always make sure you start with the onions please don't forget and then after that you have to add in the green paper and then after adding the green paper plus the onions Please fry and stir again for something like four minutes so that this meat and the vegetables yes keep stirring so that uh, we want to we want these vegetables to be filled in this meat I mean you know I'm talking about if you're a chef out there you start hearing its scent, of course, and cover for, and cover for something like two, three minutes. Let your meal boil. Yeah. Uh, so after three minutes have passed, then you're going to have to open and check your meal and see how our beet beef is. Yes, you can see the changes. So right now we're going to start adding in some uh, carrots as well yes and then the tomatoes of course uh, please don't re don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't uh, subscribed please subscribe leave a comment and you can tell us where you're watching us from please like I told you earlier earlier on this meal uh, is commonly prepared in Kenya so you have Kenyan friends watching. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember this meal goes with posho. We're going to serve goat's meat plus 
Posho and Sukuma. Yes. We're going to serve it with Posho, Sukuma, plus our beautiful goat's meat. So here you have to stare and stare. You can see how it looks so delicious already, though it's not yet. So then you have to cover for again for four minutes and wait. Please always leave a comment and a subscription if you haven't subscribed yet. Yes, so we're waiting for the meal to boil at least to four, three minutes. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. After three to four minutes, now we check our goat's meat. Oh my God, just look at how it looks. So delicious already. The aroma, the scent. So after adding the onions, tomatoes, green pepper and carrots, you see it has changed already. You can see it has to turn goldish. So maybe this is what they call a golden meal. Yeah, the beef has totally changed, the scent, everything looks just perfect. So anyone out there waiting to test this meal, just be ready because it really looks delicious. Remember you can prepare this kind of meal for yourself. All you have to do is to subscribe to this channel and watch the video from where we started. And then follow the steps. There you'll be good to go. you prepare such a meal for yourself at home, for your loved ones, and they will have to enjoy, trust me. We're going to enjoy this meal. I'm going to take you all through. Uh, so in a bit, we're going to be adding some tomato paste. Yes, if you don't have tomato paste, you can as many tomatoes as you can you can get many tomatoes as you can and use them because i think it works the same but if you can get a tomato paste please you can get it and add it into the beef so as it boils the scent is just different. The scent is just... My God. So here we're going to add our tomato paste. You just add one tablespoon. And then continue stirring. Continue stirring the meat. Trust me, if you reach this certain level, everything is amazing. Everything is changed. You see the color the scent the aroma everything about this beef is just amazing so to all the people out there that would love to prepare this kind of meal make sure your meal looks like this make sure the beef looks like this before it's even on the plate you can see so we have to have to add uh, a few things like we have tayari curry powder we have uh, Asante and then we have Reiko. So we're going to add into our beef and we see the outcomes. So that is Tayari, Asante, that is Harambe. Yes, and then lastly we have our Reiko for a perfect meal. You need all these, trust me, for a perfect one. So let's stay and see. Oh my God. The scent just continues to change. I feel like I want to test already. But like I told you, and I always tell you, please, patience in the kitchen is very important. Always make sure you take your time and prepare something very nice and sweet for your loved ones. So now we're going to cover for three again to four minutes and wait and see what's up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the video so that you can watch uh the next video coming on this remember where we are this is life in the kitchen yes all right after the three to four minutes i told you we open up and we have to check on this meal and see what's up 
stay a little bit and then of course you know there is something missing uh i guess you all know what's what we need uh we're going to add in some soup yes you add soup according to what you want yes so we add we don't want that much soup in this meal we want a little bit so we will get these small cups add two of them and then stir thank you for watching once again wherever you're watching us from remember we're preparing a, a meal that is commonly prepared in kenya nairobi uh, that is posho uh, plus goat's meat we're going to be serving it with some skuma so here we're going to add in some salt as well for the perfect taste of the meal you make sure you don't uh, add excess salt yeah this is how the beef looks now you can see the difference and the change and everything but don't test yet because it's not yet ready yeah like i told you you need patience in the kitchen patience in the kitchen you don't need to panic you have to take your time remember to leave your comment uh in the commentary section so now we're going to test the salt and see mm -hmm. yeah it is it is on point always make sure you test the salt before you go further so here we're going to cover again and finally leave the meal to boil for 10 to 15 minutes i told you you need patience in the kitchen so here we cover the meal and wait for it to boil 15 to 10 minutes it's according to what kind of uh, you may be using a cooker you may be using a gas cooker you may be using firewood or charcoal it's according to what you're using you know gas is kind of fast so we're going to wait for 15 to 10 minutes and wait until our meal is ready don't forget to subscribe life in the kitchen it is so fun thank you so much all right uh, ladies and gentlemen while the beef stirs you don't have to relax and sit back because in the kitchen we always have small time people are hungry and they want to eat so what we do now we're going to rush to our skooma yes we're going to wash it wash it twice make sure skooma is clean all right then we're going to wash the skooma make sure it's clean and of course after washing the skooma and you sure that it is clean we're going to chop it yes we're going to chop our skooma yes uh, right now as you can see we start the journey uh, you need a very sharp sharp knife so right now we start all right so make sure you check on your uh, meat and see how far as you can see it is boiling it really 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 looks nice i mean you see the goldish color that it makes so uh, at the same time our skuma wiki is done cho being chopped so all you need is sukuma and then you need the onions uh, pre to prepare a perfect skuma and then we have cooking oil here so that is it we're going to start uh, preparing our skuma it is very easy if you follow the steps that i've gave you you're going to be able to prepare this same meal at your place all you need is is time you have to take your time so first we're going to put in our skuma we put our skuma in the saucepan first yes perfect as you can see so um we're going to have to stir our skuma So leave it on, leave it to boil for three to four minutes, of course. Like I told you, we need a lot of patience in the kitchen. This is life in the kitchen. Uh, like I, I told you, we're preparing 
a meal that is regularly and commonly prepared in Kenya. Uh, my Kenyan people watching, I know you love this. This is beef, our goat's meat, and then over there, that is our skooma. It is boiling. We're going to leave it to boil for like three to four minutes, and then we'll have to add our onions, and then we're good to go. Yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Life in the Kitchen. We've got you covered. You're going to learn how to prepare each and every single meal at your home. You don't need to go around and brag about, you know, things of preparing meals you have a girlfriend you want to surprise them with a, a, a very nice breakfast and then you think you have to call a chef no you can do these things yourself so all you need to do subscribe and share please don't forget to tap the, the notification button so that you can always get updated when we have a new video uploaded on this channel thank you so much i'll be right back so all right as you can see right here um after a few minutes I think our goat's meat is finally ready. You can see the look. I mean, it really looks delicious. I can't wait to test. Yes, so after the meat is ready, make sure uh, you put the fire, put the gas off. Yes, and you can leave it on the, on the gas cooker when the fire is off. It's ready. So uh, we next, we're going to our... We're going to our skooma. We're going to our skooma. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to add onions, salt. There we go. Uh, you have to chop these onions in that kind of style. Yeah. Uh, stir for some good time so that these onions can fit with the skooma perfectly you have to reduce on the fire so that you get a perfect here we're going to add some cooking oil yes there we go and then we keep on stirring our skooma is going to change a bit So we stir and stir. You make sure these onions change color. Yes, so we're going to add salt. There we go. Perfect. We stir and stir and then you'll see how it's going to look I mean you can already feel the scent it really uh, has a nice one so we're going to cover up for three to four minutes and wait a bit uh, the beef is ready so probably you have to start getting ready to prepare the water uh, so here we're going to be preparing our water and get ready for the posho subscribe to the channel life in the kitchen uh, many many more things coming your way ladies and gentlemen uh, our beef is ready and here we go let's check on our skooma oh my god our skooma is also ready it is ready so right now we're going to be uh, getting ready for our posho so we're going to take this off and then bring the kettle and boil our water for our posho. I think the posho is the last step. We're done with the sauce. Beef is ready. Skuma is ready. Next is our posho. So thank you for watching and subscribing. Uh, Life in the kitchen. We are about to serve the meal. So get ready if you're ready to eat with us. Make sure you're ready comment where you're watching from yes we love you and we promise to always to bring uh, the best for you guys and remember remember always to clean or keep your kitchen clean because when it's clean uh, you're healthy and your meals even taste better yes 
you need to clean the kitchen but uh, here we go so i'm coming back with the portion we're boiling the water the next step is going to be mingling our portion so ladies and gentlemen like i told you here you can see the skooma is okay and the beef as well so right here our water is ready ladies and gentlemen so what we do here we're going to uh place our saucepan and then start the mingling of the posho so here we go for those of you that don't know how to mingle posho make sure today you learn how to mingle posho ladies and gentlemen you need to know the water you need light the gas then add the water in the saucepan and after adding it then we're going to wait for small small minutes and it boils once again you wait for the water to boil a little bit so when it's done boiling you bring our portion mm -hmm. so this is one kilogram but then we're not going to mingle the whole of it we're going to mingle half a kilogram yeah half a kilogram is what we're going to mingle right here because it's according to the people you're going to serve uh that's how you all right so i think this is it uh, we're done there so next is mingle our posho this is how we're going to mingle the posho you start stirring uh-huh stir the posho you stir so if it starts getting hard of course you have to add some water we have our water ready here you add a little a little and then you keep on stirring or mingling yo for me posho is my favorite meal so like I told you, we're going to be preparing posho and we're going to serve this posho with beef, goat's beef, goat's meat, plus skuma. So here we go, we're mingling our posho. You can see this started changing, started changing. Don't stop mingling until it's ready, yeah? You need some energy though. Uh, for those that are just learning how to mingle posho, you don't need a lot. All you need to do is stir and make sure this flour has disappeared. Make sure the flour turns into posho, yeah? It's called Mpulunguse in Luganda. For those of you that understand Luganda, eh, my people in Uganda, you understand what, I, what they mean by Mpulungu say this is it you make sure the posho has no flour left yeah here we go all right Oof. some people just enjoy posho but they don't know how they don't know the process in which it's made it's a bit hard and patience, like I told you, you need patience. Because you have to make sure you serve ready meals. So I think the posho is ready. Finally, after making sure there is no flour left in our posho, what we do is putting the posho together. How do we do that? This is how we do it for the easy serving and you know the beauty of the meal. 
you know even the beauty of the milk matters you don't just have to serve food like that far no always make sure you put a design on every meal so this is how we uh, doing it as you can see put the portion all together and one two three ah we're done the portion is ready so i need to get a plate We're going to get our portion out of the saucepan. I switch off the gas and then here we go. Alright, so this is the taco. It is ready. Finally, that is our meal. As you can see, portion is ready. Our beef goat's meat is ready and our skuma is ready. So the next part is dining. We're going to be serving this meal. Get ready. So ladies and gentlemen, finally, we're going to serve our beautiful meal. I don't know if you guys are ready to eat with me. Here we go. A slice of posho. And then we come to this beautiful meal. The goat's meat. Oh my God. I can't wait to taste this. Looks so delicious. Looks yummy. So we're serving the beautiful meal here. Uh, you can see. Even the eyes just enjoy before the mouth does the eating. So we get some skooma here over here and then we we'll bring it to the plate. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our perfect meal here. If you want to have a meal like this, make sure you have posho, have skooma. We have our God's meat. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you enjoy meals like this. We are live in the kitchen. Subscribe and leave, leave a comment. Thank you so much. Till next time, tap the notification bell so that you can enjoy my next video. Thank you.